Hey, me team. It's y'all, we're doing a Gemini Moon video today. It's your girl, Mava, and today we're doing the Gemini Moon. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Mava again. I said it three times. I'm a singer songwriter. As well as some music to astrology, I'm so excited to do this video because this is my moon sign placement. Now, tell me what again is a moon sign? A moon sign is your emotions, who you are when nobody else is around you, when you're by yourself. Also, it pertains to your relationship with your mother. So this is like your alone time, how you nurture yourself, how do you deal with your emotions. And this placement is very difficult for intellectual people. And I'm a really empathetic. Oh, hard wig, soft life <laughs> vibes. It doesn't matter. I'm at home. But whatever. Um, basically, yeah, if you're intellectual... This sign could be very hard for somebody who doesn't have good communication skills into helping you navigate your emotions. Because you don't really show your emotions through actions. It's more so through words and hoping that somebody nurtures you through educating you through logistically what's wrong and what's right. And it's a very hard placement for people with gemini moons because it's uh, it may almost feel like you're there to solve everybody else's problems but nobody's there to solve yours because they feel like because you know how to verbally express how to navigate through these issues and everybody expects you to always have it together but when you need them there it's like nowhere to be found right and it's a little crazy placement too because it's just the placement before cancer moon and cancer moon is in its home placement whereas this placement is far from it far from it so think about it this way if somebody has a cancer moon sign that means gemini is like 12 behind it because it's going backwards if that makes sense it's different if it's leo moon because it's closer to cancer because it's right after cancer whereas gemini is right before it meaning it hasn't reached there yet so it's going to take a little bit longer to process your emotions like the average person would be instantly and simultaneously with gemini moons it pertains like i said it's, it's kind of like your love language has this is like you know it's you how do you connect if you're a man who i think this is a good placement for men and a good placement for women who do have some earth and water placements in their charts. But if you're full of fire and air, baby, you're going to be the biggest headache to a lot of people. Because you're going to read them down to shit. Read them down to filth. You're the type of person who could cuss somebody out in a millisecond without cussing them, literally. I would say with men with this placement, it helps you be more aware of what's going on in that time and space versus a woman with this placement is like it helps you be more strategically when it comes to dealing with people not to act and give your energy freely at least in an uncontrolled manner like a water sign jim carrey has this placement a gemini moon placement chloe kardashian has a gemini moon placement um 50 cent has a gemini moon placement so this placement is really prominent for people into the entertainment realm who know how to navigate their emotions essentially is your energy energy emotion but when it's in gemini moon it's in every emotion but sadness it's going to take them a while for them to feel sad because these are usually chippier chipper upbeat people when they feel offended they're not going to cry they're going to find some smart ass response to what you got to say and it's going to garner positive energy towards them in the form of people supporting them versus if it was like uh let's just say if it's like a capricorn moon or a cancer cancer moon person everybody will feel that shit and nobody will want to be around you because it's like a sponge when they're around you like they could feel your negativity as a cancer moon or a capricorn moon even a virgo moon but when it comes to Gemini moons, this is the dual placement. It's going to be hard for them to process what's going on. It's like, it's a lot. And I'm trying not to say 
I'm trying not to communicate this in a way where it's confusing, but if you're a Gemini moon, you're a sapiosexual person, okay? Moving on from the topic. You're a person who gets aroused by smart people, intellectual people, people who use their brain instead of whining and complaining about something, people who strategize, people who are successful. Those type of people are who you're attracted to because you want to know what's going on with their mind for them to get where they're at versus somebody who whines and complains and does nothing. So this, like I said, it's a good placement for women if you know how to develop that emotional intelligence as you grow. But it's a bad placement for somebody who who needs, like, feels like they need to heal their wounds a little bit more. Ultimately, it helps you read people down so you don't get read or get used or for free energy. And keep in mind, guys, when it comes to your moon sign, this is your foundation, your, your structured energy. Well, this is you. This is how you generate your energy for you or how you perceive things for you when nobody else is looking okay me as a woman with the gemini moon you're gonna realize these people instead of being down and out and dwelling in negativity and misery people with gemini moons take their emotions and reform it into something crazy beautiful so you notice also too with gemini moons they always have to be doing something they're either always on the computer reposting memes reposting um posts on their instagram or snapchat they're either always making music doing something they're always doing something productive to distract them from feeling the heaviness of emotions because one thing about gemini's too you guys forget gemini's is the twins something here is something up, out of there one thing that comes with gemini moons is they can get deep into depression if they're not doing something this is Gemini energy in general. They get deep into depression if they're not doing something. If their brain is a stimulant, it draws them into depression. Like, what are they supposed to do? Because once they're stuck, they can really be down and out. And that's why I really highly encourage Gemini moon people. You stay around people who are, I'm not saying to be like, opportunists but stay around people who are successful stay around people who can challenge you mentally and stimulate your brain cells only consume content that is like um going to have you think about what to do in your day-to-day -day life and how you operate stay consuming content that helps you find out more about yourself and to grow as an individual because the more you stay wrapped up in other people's stuff it's almost like you absorb that whole personality and it's just going to draw you into depression it's not you it's somebody else and if you know you know so with gemini moons and their aesthetic is pretty it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty cool gemini moons we know how to dress okay we like like i said gemini moons like to express themselves through productivity okay very hard very rarely will you ever see a gemini moon down and out crying and whining about something at least publicly they don't really get emotion like that they express themselves through projects new businesses new clothes um almost like the Taurus, but not necessarily like new body new hair always changing like we're gonna switch it up it's all about change it's a mutable it's a mutable sign. Change mutable signs are not stable. They're chameleons or what are they? They're chameleons or they're glue. Same situation, but it's a chameleon like energy. Like either they know what directions or where they want to head at, or they're helping solve other people's problems. That's it's just no there's no gray area. Either they're helping solve somebody else's problem or they're focused on structuralizing something else for themselves. There's no gray area. There is really no balance. It's either they're working on something else and they're working on themselves. Okay? So that's one thing too. If you have a Gemini moon to be cognitive about, like don't get too caught up in other people's stuff. Like learn about yourself. Really learn about yourself. That's all I can say. Because it's easy for us mutable signs to be wrapped up in other people's shit and not our own so stick to it and i know if you probably um you have a mutable sun sign a mutable moon sign you know how to have that creative capacity that not the average human being has kanye Nicki minaj um 
are two people who, of examples who have mutable suns, mutable moons, all over the place. There is no compromise when I'm telling you. Mutable signs is you either focus on yourself or you come wrapped up in everybody else's issue and you start looking crazy. And that's why I don't judge too many people because when I see sporadic behavior, I automatically start thinking about mutable signs. Straight up like that. Pisces or Gemini. Straight up like that. Straight up like that. Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius. But also too, these people too are great poets. Gemini moons are great poets, great writers, great artists. I'm an artist. Like you know how to transcribe messages from the ethers to the physical realm to the human ear and make things a little bit more easier to maneuver even though when once you get hit with that information you may not know what to do with it because you're going to be looking a little crazy once you structuralize it like i said focus on yourself once you structuralize it into some type of project or craft it is amazing so i remember when chloe kardashian she has a gemini moon was just going through the motions with her baby dad but once she structuralized and put everything into herself she started looking bomb as hell her business started booming things just started going in a positive direction same thing with 50 cent even though he's a cancer with a gemini moon understand he takes every situation that's annoying him or irritates him and turns it into a productive project which breeds the population into, you know, paying attention into him. It is what it is. Gemini moons know how to make problems into profits immediately. Harriet Tubman, Tubman Pisces women, I believe, with the Gemini moon, turn the problem of what? Not finding a way how to escape slavery into a profit. I don't know if she got paid, but she probably got paid in spiritual alignment by helping all those people. Turning a problem into profit. Gemini moons are best for that. Okay. Um, there was a guy. He's a tour manager for music that I connected with before in my earlier days with my music. Definitely identify problems turning into profit. Sometimes Gemini moons too can be too absorbed with like don't get too absorbed with the problem because Gemini too. Gemini moon is an anxious energy. Mind you, it's still your emotion. It's energy in motion. Do not consume it. Gemini moons too could like, if they let the stress of being gifted with the ability to transmute problems to profit and they don't know how to transition themselves from the problem to the profit aspect of their emotions, you can see their weight fluctuating. I definitely will use me as an example. I've, I've been able to identify so many key problems in my life but because the anxiousness of not having the confidence to solve the problem and turn it into profit obviously I turn it into profit with my youtube channel and my music it stressed me out to the point where my weight just sprung out of control because i knew what the problem was but i didn't know how to solve it typically gemini's like to solve their problems into profit or with profit so it's a lot like i said it's a lot chloe kardashian she was battling with weight issues as well turn her problem into profit when she lost all that weight guess what she made the good american and the red revenge body tv show it's it's definitely it's definitely in the capacity of the gemini moon to go from right to riches i'm just going to say it like that yes i will speak it over me but because i've seen it with so many times gemini moons too they're tough cookies okay jim carrey rags to riches 50 cent rags to riches Mavum, right to riches, by the grace of God. So everything that comes with the Gemini moon is nothing short of magical because it's not the average way they process emotions. They will definitely, they are definitely the kings and queens of transmutation. And the tour manager guy, same situation. He was struggling with this way, turned it into profit of his story. He got a successful podcast. And he's been a tour manager for Dizzy Wright, Riff Raff, and all these people. So I just want to say, if you have a Gemini moon, you have the ability to yin-yang that situation, turn it from dark to light, turn it from ugly to beautiful, black, from, ugly duck, from ugly duck to black swan. You have the capacity to do it, okay? I know with Gemini moons, it's not easy for us to connect on a sentimental way that most people will. We definitely find connections with people who 
see us for our intellect, who want to see us win, who want to help us win at any cost and help solve our problems versus creating problems for us. And also that's another thing too with Gemini moons that I realized, do not see a problematic person as attractive and try to solve their problems for them. Don't do it, please. They're the problem, let her figure it out for herself. Even though you have the capacity to solve a problem because Gemini, that energy is light years ahead on the physical realm, I mean the spiritual realm than it is on the physical realm. It's not your problem. Let them figure it out for themselves, okay? So Gemini moons to, you know, I, I really love this placement. It, it took me a long time to embrace it because it was a little nervous to say the least having it because it wasn't an average placement and then I got a mutable sign as my sun sign as well it's it's just been a lot but one thing I could say for sure is this is a great placement for writers producers artists entrepreneurs like you really can generate you know how to es escape any problem really this pro this placement for men and women is very strong for people to rely on when there's a problem they will solve it instantaneously okay so me team that's all that i have for the gemini moon video i think i just like got comfortable just spazzing a little bit um yeah if you want a gemini moon woman to fall in love with you you gotta be a genius you probably gotta be one of those icy guys you gotta be somebody who's already successful otherwise it's going to be hard for her to respect you seriously if you want a gemini moon man to fall in love with you help him understand what emotional intelligence is it's different for men and women it is what it is men aren't naturally emotional men rely on their mars energy more so versus their moon energy women are the moon and the venus energy so that's all that i have for this video i really enjoyed this gemini moon the ever-changing moon sign i love this placement Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't um, already. I make music, check out my debut EP Siren, and you can go to my website, mavum.com slash mean team to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation if you want to talk, or also do request a love compatibility video from me. That's all that I got, mean team. Love you. Bye-bye.